Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, Episode 3. Last episode was a little bit fun. I mean, it depends how you define fun. I mean, Dashing Gran, Dashing <laughs> Granny was not fun. She was a bit fun. Oh, she was hilarious though. Come um, on. Yeah, it was like the urban legends and all this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, um, very creative. I liked it. Yeah. We might start to get into the actual storyline of the season. Well, by storyline, I mean... The main we, plot points. Yeah, we know that Claw is still around yep. in some capacity. As small as it is now. Yeah, like Sho and his dad, his dickhead dad, and like... I'm pretty sure that's what Teru is like training the Espers for, that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm waiting to revisit those plot points. Mainly because I want to see Teru, because I really like Teru as a character. I really enjoyed his, his sort of like mini character arc last season, I guess. Yep. I would love to see how he's doing with uh, all of the Espers. Yeah, Toothpaste, Teru 2.0... <laughs> And I forgot the other girl's name. I need to learn their and names. And the Minecraft characters. Yeah, that's right. The Minecraft dude. Yeah. yeah. I actually, one of them is called Daichi, one of the brothers. Okay. Yeah, I remember that because some of the names overlap with IQ, So that's how I'm remembering. Right. Uh, there's Sho as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he's not part of the nice crew. He's No. He's a dickhead. But he's got the same colored hair. That's true. But yeah, this episode, I'm hoping to see what Teru's doing. Maybe even get... Ritsu involved a little bit again mm -hmm. as well because he does link into all those other espers as well. And yeah, exactly. He's part of that group. Yeah, it's that's like right. His group. Yeah. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. <laughs> Search. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no way. There's no way. What do you mean? At least he's getting good business. Yeah. Oh, he wants to put a curse on someone. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be a fraud again. I'm all about it. <laughs> Excuse me? Why couldn't you curse the other guy then? He's <laughs> <laughs> going through like every person he knows. I'm, I'm trying to think too. One of those bullies? No. <laughs> okay. No, he's too kind for that. Oh, yeah, true. Mm. Mob is very mature. He's being himself more. That's nice. Yeah. Reagan thinks something is wrong. Yeah, it's unusual for him. Oh no. Oh. oh. So there is one hanging around. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> what is happening? Like an earthquake. Oh! Look, hurry up! Who? What? What? 
The living person? Um... The... Ew, it's a peeping Tom? What the heck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you ring the doorbell at your parents' house. What? Weird. Gross. Oh, dang. They peeping Tom. Loose unit. This is a loose unit. Very troubled dude. See you, Chief. Arrested for what, though? Uh... What do you mean, Carly? He was doing quite a bit wrong. How could they prove that he had an outer body experience, you know what I'm saying? He did admit to it. Oh, that's not going to go well. These guys are stressing me out. They're all happy until they, they see the spirit. Well, it was kind of smart of them to bring Reagan and Mob, I suppose. In case things go loopy. Nah. Oh shit. Oh shit. The flash is going to go off and something's going to happen. <laughs> Yep, told you, Flash. That's wrong. <laughs> I mean, you should pay him for the hour. I, I kind of agree with them. And then they don't even take him back. That I don't yeah. agree with. He didn't do much. He didn't even drive. He just took the picture. Tumbling around. Full sack chin. Red flag. Yeah. What's going on? Wait. Wait. What is happening? <laughs> Dimple Sama, man. What is that? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Dimple's protecting him. Ritsu? Oh. Just leave. Sugimoto. Humiliated. Go home. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They're not even, like, lifting a hand. <laughs> They're just crushing him with their pecs. They're gonna explode. <laughs> Shadow leader. <laughs> Everyone got involved there to, to help him out. Yeah. Got his little army. That was awesome. Yeah, I love it. Oh, did you? In that case... <laughs> oh. I can't believe what Dimple Sama did to that dude. I couldn't believe my eyes either. A few. Is it a family? Yeah. Aww. Aww. 
Oh, that's that's sad. Just leave them be. Leave everyone go. That's that's sad. That's so sad. What? He doesn't know what to do. Oh man, he's got a difficult decision. Shit. Is he gonna pretend? Yeah. So how is he gonna? Is... What's Dimple doing? I don't know. Dimple Sama. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. No. Oh. You can't do it? They deserve to live then. Screw the customers! Bear them. Oh no. Okay. Aww. That's. Mob can't do it. He can't. Reagan always has his best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. He has to see it from a different perspective? Mm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it was for them. Spirit. Go Reagan. Mm. Oh wow. True. He sees oh, okay, I get that. Yeah. He sees them all the time, of course. Yep. He sees them as much as as he'd see regular people. They're not usually Aww. like that as well. Still gonna have sober. Yeah. <laughs> they took the money too. I'm actually not opposed to it this time. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's weird ass! <laughs> That was kind of... Was that cute? I think so. I think it was <laughs> cute. もし僕が犯罪に力を利用したらもし僕が霊じゃなく人を退治したいなんて考えてしまったら誰かが僕を懲らしめてくれるのかな? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. He's realized how... How much he can actually do with his power. Yeah. Oh, the big jump. Mm. Interesting. Okay. We're getting into a more serious theme now. Yeah. I feel like we're going to explore this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mob and his ethics and differentiating humans with the curses and things like that. Or the spirits, the spirits yeah. sorry. Yep. Yeah, I... Kind of like that. I never thought of it that way, but he sees them all the time. Yeah. The spirits. And when he sees 
nice ones like that, genuine ones, it's like sometimes maybe has a hard time differentiating like them from the humans because he sees them just so regularly. Yeah. And there are consequences to both. Like he doesn't want to exercise them if they're not harming anyone, but then at the same time, like that could be dangerous for the human or the humans involved. It is a little bit of a struggle that I didn't take into account, obviously, until this episode. Yeah, that was so sad with the family. He was like begging, begging him to leave them alone. And I don't know, how could Mob follow through with that? Yeah, and his explosion percentage took a jump. Yep. It went from like 20 odd, I think, to like 67 or yeah, something. I think it's because he couldn't express those feelings he was feeling. Like inside his head, he was like, is this something only I can understand? So he, he failed to express his emotions and maybe that's why because he had to he had to bottle them up even though reagan knew Mm. um yeah i think that's why it jumped so high yeah he was sitting with it for a while as well i think they said a couple of days or whatever and and he became exhausted Mm. what emotion is it because you know how each explosion is like an emotion i know it is maybe confusion is that an emotion i don't know um when you're battling between decisions what is that i was thinking maybe it might be guilt maybe i'm not entirely sure yeah i think he's understanding we're starting to realize how strong he actually is and he had that question is like would everyone would anyone be able to stop me Mm. if i decided to use it for the wrong reasons that's a pretty big burden to have well i mean he's surrounded by the right people dimple uh... yeah i don't know about his methods there um, Dimple, I'm not sure, but yeah. Dimple probably trusted that Mob could have stepped in if the, the father ghost did try and hurt the humans. Maybe that's what he was doing there, but... Yeah. No, but still, like, I think Mob's surrounded by some good people. Uh, you saw that there with the bully encounter. Oh, yeah. They all came to his aid. Yeah. So I think people will keep him in check. Yeah. Not that, like, Mob has any has ever really demonstrated that. He was going to use it for evil. I mean, he's had the explosion moments or the the question mark percentage sort of moments there where he's not conscious, but I don't think consciously he'd ever use them for evil. That's not the sort of character he is yeah. anyway. But, like, I can see why he's wrestling with that. Yeah, it's like he's got some distrust in himself. Oh, he's scared of his power too. Seen it happen to Ritsu. Mm. A dimple showing that bully... Oh uh, my where to go. gosh! I, mean, I had no idea what was happening at the start. I'm like, oh, this is just some weird creep that the writer has written in here again, like he's done before. Good old Dimple. That was funny. It reminded me of um, is it Puri Puri in One Punch oh, Man? Oh my gosh! Yeah, Angel Dash. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, they didn't put the dimples on him that time, so we had no indication that it could have been him. But with the other. Oh, no, it was the same bully that the tie was strangling him with. I thought it was Dimple again, but it was Ritsu. It was Ritsu. And if you think about it, you could kind of tell because Ritsu's kind of got like this dark side to him, whereas Dimple is sort of more like a comical character. Oh, yeah, okay. So it said something about both of their characters there. Oh, that that's how, yeah, Ritsu draws upon his psychic abilities. I'm pretty sure they said one time that it was... Um, the anger helps him draw it out or, or channel it properly, I think. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. He said to Mob, like, don't waste your powers on guys like this. Like, I'll protect you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which is nice also. And then, obviously, you got the Body Improvement Club that came to his aid again. That was so great. They, they just squished him. Yeah. They uh, look after their own. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think we. it looks like we're going to be doing the same sort of thing that we did with Season 1, how... Uh, the, the first half of the season will be more based on Mob and his emotions and and all that sort of thing or introducing some new characters. And then the second half of the season will be visiting Claw again and that whole thing, the Claw division. Yeah, interesting. I Dealing think. with this, like, father guy, the, the top of the Claw division. Yeah. Um. Also, I think there's an extra episode in this season. I'm pretty sure it's 13 episodes maybe. I could be wrong. I really liked it how Reagan this episode also was really considering Mob's feelings and Yep. He's like there must be a reason why he's um battling with himself so much and he really tried to think about why it was. I really, really liked that. 
Yeah, and then he kind of just, he saw Mob really struggling, and then he was just, like, really quick to act through mm-hmm. the salt at those three dickheads, I'm yeah. going to call them, and then uh, was done with it and tried to cheer Mob up a little bit. Yeah. I really like that. He's a really good um, influence on Mob, I think. Yeah, what did he say? He was like, it's not like I'm forcing you to do it or anything. It's like, you, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they still went and got... Sober? Is it called yeah, sober? So- sober? What is sober? I'm not sure I was going to ask you that. What is sober? <laughs> you guys tell us. I yeah. think it's some, is it some sort of like noodle soup, maybe? That's I'm, what I think when I hear sober. I'm not sure. It sounds familiar, but I I, yeah. still, I don't know what it is. We'll have to try some when we go to Japan. Yeah, sober. sober. Okay. What are the other ones that we know? Ramen. Ramen. Udon. Okay. Sushi. <laughs> we already know sushi. Of course. We did see in, I think it was the first episode or the second episode that Mob, he had an encounter with a pretty gentle spirit. Did he end up exercising that spirit? You know the one where he gave the photo back to him about his gang? Yeah, that was the the first episode, the tunnel. Yeah, in the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. He did exercise him in the end? Didn't he want to be free? He wanted to be free. Okay. Yeah, that was the difference. Okay. I think. So then he could be reunited or something. Yeah, because this was the, the first real instance where we see like a a nice spirit i guess yeah that doesn't want to go but then again like mob hasn't exercised dimple as well <laughs> like you see he really treats dimple the spirits is not a different nice spirit. <laughs> no no that's what i'm saying but though he has a lot of compassion and everything yeah yeah so he doesn't want to just go ahead and i guess destroy someone who doesn't want to be yeah it's not that easy of a decision for um, mob unless they're clearly just so evil yeah, obviously. Yeah. We have seen him not hesitate with some. Yeah, like as the well. um, oh, do you remember the the high school one? Oh yeah. The one like the, watching the girls. The pervert professor. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it didn't hesitate there. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's something to consider. Um, now watching the the series because, yeah, I don't think we've really given it much thought. Yeah. It's kind of, we've kind of just thought, yep, spirit. Okay, mob's gonna deal with it. No dramas, but there's more of a a moral, sort of. Battle, internal battle. Yeah. I think season one was good at just, like, setting the foundation, like, the basic rules. Like, there's spirits, there's espers, psychics, whatever. This is Reagan. Here are all the characters. Yeah. But season two so far is, like, going into um more detail on, like, how things can be different. Do you know what I'm trying to say? No. Like, season one... Did a good job at like laying down all the foundations, yeah. introducing us to all of the characters and the world building and whatnot. And the world building, yeah, yeah. Season two, I feel like it's going um more in depth into each of the cases and stuff like that. Like it's introducing new ideas and building on um already established ones and how that kind of impacts like Mob and the other characters as well. Yeah, like last episode we had. The urban legends. Yeah, the urban legends. Um, and so that was a completely new concept that we hadn't known before, right? Season one. So it's like introducing more things like this. Yeah, yeah, building on it. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.